I'm not okay. I'm not little bit about this in my last video where I talked about how uh, I'm depressed and yet I have I don't have to but I want to keep up a booktube channel because it's the one thing that kind of brings me joy lately in my life and well uh, I decided to read <laughs> I haven't read anything this month and we we're like halfway through the month so I'm gonna just get, catch you up let you know what I'm reading what I was reading and why that wasn't working out for me and hopefully this will help you if you are down Or if you're just not feeling that great because you don't have to be depressed sometimes we just don't feel good So I was reading the obelisk gate by MK Jemison. This book is amazing There's nothing bad I can say about this book except that this book is sad There's a lot of sad things that happen in this book and the more I read <laughs> Those sad things, the more I got like sadder and angrier and just I would just like like randomly burst into tears. I'm a very emotional person. Maybe that's not you, but that was totally me with this book. And um I wanted to keep reading. I wanted to keep reading because it's so good and because it's that whole thing of it's in my TBR, I must finish it, I must finish this in the stone sky. And then it's like, no, you don't. You really don't. I think anybody that watches my videos and sees that I'm not doing well and that this book is making it worse will understand that me forcing myself because I was literally forcing myself to read this book and then I would just like lay in bed and cry all night you know I'm making it sound really dramatic but it's it's just that I, I don't want to spoil anything but there are a lot of deaths and a lot of coming to terms with losing people in this book and I just couldn't do it anymore. So I decided that this book is amazing and I am going to finish it when I feel better. So that's that. So what did I pick up? I tried to pick up um, Girl Boy C. I tried to pick it up. Um, I really want to read this one. Like I'm actually excited to read this one. The thing is that for two weeks I didn't want to read anything. I just wanted to watch In For 60 Days on Netflix, which I 100% recommend. So, But this is something that I might still pick up. I did, every time I look at it, I, I want to pick it up. The other thing that I decided that I could pick up is To Kill a Kingdom, YA fantasy. You know, I, I I don't think that this is gonna destroy me or break my heart. And if it does, I'll just put it down. And then I am still doing the history of thon I don't remember the name, I'm sorry. But I heard from it, from Emma, from a couple books. Uh, I'll link her channel up above. No, it's this way. Yeah, it's, I always know because of my eyes this way. Um, I still want to read this and I'm excited to read it. And I like that it's historical and yeah I but I the thing is like is it this gonna make me angry I don't know we'll see and if it does I'll just put it down girl you can put books down so let's talk about what I'm currently reading I decided to pick up horror store because I was like you know what I need I just need a fun fun read that's what I need I need something to get me out of my head and uh, I decided to go for this one and I actually read a chapter when I finished the chapter I was like is this who who is she that is reading a chapter like that was that was like 20 pages which is more than I've read all month not I no, I haven't because I have read this month I have read um, I'll tell you how many pages I have read I've read about two yep yeah I've heard I've read about 200 pages of this so uh, but then I haven't read anything else. So I'm currently reading Horror Store. I'm really enjoying it. It's a fun kind of horror read and I think it's exactly what I needed to pick myself back up. I think it's going to be funny. Okay. I mean, come on. Are we... Who's going to take this book seriously? So yeah, that's the, the plan for the weekend is to finish Horror Store because I have been reading at the rate of molasses. But if I do finish Horror Store, then I'm gonna pick up one of these two. Or both, I don't know, because maybe I'll get back into the, like, why do I always put, I always put the dust jackets backwards. Maybe I'll read this one, because this is middle grade, so if you see, 
there's very little writing per page and the, the font is really big and yeah maybe i'll read this one i i really want to read this one uh or if oh yeah or to kill kingdom or maybe i'll read both or maybe i'll read nothing we'll we'll see i want to keep this like super real with you guys because i feel we have enough like and this is nothing against those people like aesthetically pleasing happy youtubers that are just like hey i read 1600 pages this weekend and it's like you know what sometimes i can't do that because i'm sad and i don't feel like reading i just feel like being sad for a little bit also growing out this pixie cut is testing me um as you can see like some pieces are pretty long and then the back is starting to poofy up but you know what we're gonna work with it so yeah uh this is the this is the pile of books that i plan to read okay um let's talk about another thing uh not regarding books i'm gonna bring you in close we're gonna we're gonna get some some real 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 talk here i'm also uh other than being just generally i, I depressed yes i am depressed my my, my it is, it was diagnosed by my doctor as having depression so um i'm also not feeling comfortable with my body and i haven't been for a while and um that doesn't help any like and i know this is not something you talk about on booktube like monica what does this have to do with books you know what my state of mind in general and my reading have a lot to do with each other when i'm feeling good when i'm feeling happy i read a lot when i'm not feeling good when i'm not feeling happy i don't read a lot and also i think again a lot of us watch booktubers and i know that most of us know that social media is not real life and that these people have problems in real life and stuff but you know it's not shown so i'm here to like pull back the curtain and show you a little bit I'm just not feeling comfortable and I am taking steps, healthy steps, healthy steps, that's so important. <laughs> and I'm not, and I don't want to say that I'm not body positive, like I'm so scared to put the, post this clip, but, um, depression, quarantine, family losses, not feeling my best, not feeling my best. Also, my hair's not helping <laughs> right now. And it's like, what happened? I don't know. You know what I look like? I look like a less skinny version of Tommy Lee when he was on drugs. <laughs> That's how I described myself the other day. And just so we're clear, I think Tommy Lee was hot, so it's not like a bad thing. But uh, yeah, but I'm, I, I'm having a hard month, guys. I'm having a hard month. And um, I, I envy people that can pick up a book and just forget everything, you know? Um, I'm not one of those people. I need to be in like a good place to read. And right now I'm not in a good place, but we're trying to get there. I am reminding myself that, you know, weight fluctuates, it's fine. I am not ugly because I am not the weight that I was a year ago. Definitely not. I still think that I'm cute girl. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's just that I'm not having the best time of my life. I'm, I'm gonna keep inserting these music videos, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. I just, wanna, just wanted to come on here and keep it realistic. Because I did do another weekend vlog, but the, the feelings of the vlog got real intense and I decided to just not what's wrong with my cat I decided to just not put it up because it just didn't feel right it felt felt a little bit dramatic and not dramatic as in oh my god Monica you're so much drama but I just felt like it was a little too raw and you know I, I didn't feel comfortable putting that up on the internet so yeah, let's see if I get any reading done today. I'm gonna have breakfast now. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have. I might have some, I really want to have a glass of water, not for breakfast. Like that's not breakfast. Don't eat, don't drink a glass of water for breakfast, but I'm really thirsty. And then uh, I might have an arepa or some pancakes. I had pancakes yesterday, they were really good. 
and um, yeah, we'll take it from there. So let's get going. Uh, <coughs> forgot how to drink. It already feels better. So, um, what am I gonna have for breakfast? I'm feeling out of us. I'm feeling out of us. I don't know with what. I mean, let me check the fridge. You know, there's nothing in the fridge that I want to have a breakfast with. Let's see if there's any bread and I can have like some yogurt. Oh yeah, some yogurt, some chia seeds, some fruit. That, that'll be really refreshing because it's, re not, it's not really hot today, but it's kind of hot. I don't know why I'm telling you all this, but I'm going to go check if there's bread. We've got bread. So I'm going to make that. I'll show it to you later. We are back. Sorry about the light, it's just that there's just no way the light is entering my house correctly. But in case you're wondering, I use this Alpro one. I usually use the high protein one, but they didn't have it, so I'm using the natural with oatmeal, which is really yummy. So, there you go. Pour that in here. Let's get some fruit. This is flaxseed, by the way. I just love how all of this looks together. And then I put in some agave syrup just to give it a little bit like yumminess. These, by the way, are frozen fruit because I realized that I had like that much left of it. And I was like, let's just eat the frozen fruit because it's going to be really nice and refreshing. So. There you go. And then I'm gonna have some toast with that and I'm going to do some reading while I have breakfast. This is the weirdest angle. But anyway, yeah. I'm gonna do some reading while I have breakfast and I'll let you know how that goes. Breakfast has been consumed and I actually feel a lot better. Um, I have been getting up really late recently. Like I've been getting up like at 2 p.m. So I'm also trying to fix that because that doesn't help with my overall feelings and emotions and all that crap. So yeah, if you hear anything, that's my coffee being made. And I'm on page 30 of Horror Store and it's a lot of fun. Like I just, I was thinking like, I don't remember having like this much fun reading a book. It's not to say that the other books that I haven't read aren't good. It's that this is just straight up fun. So I'm gonna have coffee. I'm gonna take this to my bed, gonna snuggle up in my bed now that the temperature is not blistering hot and I'm gonna keep going. I actually feel a lot better today. I think vlogging is really helping. I know you won't believe this because like I share a lot on here but what you guys have to remember is that although I'm talking to you, I'm really just alone here. Look, see? <laughs> um, I'm a person that tends to keep like things inside and uh, it's just really nice to have an outlet of like somebody to talk to or just say the things that I'm feeling so I think that that's really helping anyway I'm gonna get back to the hardware store and get my coffee yep so you see that it's basically like the same color of the milk so there you go coffee so this is what I do most of the time you see that it's closed. Here's cats that keep me company. That's an air conditioning unit. Pay no attention to it. And I'm probably going to look like job at the hut. Yeah. There we go. Um, wow, this camera is really good at like really low light because it's really, really dark in here. But I have read some more and I'm still enjoying it. I'm having such a good time with it. I'm like to page 50. I'm so proud of myself. I totally forgot that today is Friday and I needed to put a video up. And I did have the video film. I just hadn't edited it. So edited it. That's hard to say. What's this? Oh, this is my husband's computer. Um, so it's it's rendering right now and it'll be up. Like it's gonna be up on time. But I just wanted to show you <laughs> the reality of the situation where it's just like I'm in this dark room like don't don't this is my husband's messy area i hate that messy area we're looking for like a three bedroom house just so that he can have his area my hair oh my god <laughs> so that i don't have to look at it because i hate clutter and he loves clutter 
but you know, we love each other, so we make it work. Look at that. This is my cup of coffee, but he's got all of his like, um, ma well, there's some of mine here too. The Magic the Gathering decks here. I don't know why they're there. Why are they there? I don't know. But anyway, just wanted to update you that I have read some and I'm very proud of myself. I might be able to finish this like this weekend. Who am I finishing a book? I don't know. But it's really fun. The book is really fun. And I really identify with the main character, Amy, because she's like having like a real rough time, you know? And I'm like, Amy, I got you, girl. I'm here with you. So yeah, I'm going to wait for that to render. Then I'm going to upload it. And then the next video you'll see is this video on Monday. Hey, so let's talk about something real quick. And that is meds. Also, I cleaned up. You see how nice? <laughs> Um, I didn't clean up my side, whatever. But um, yeah, I uh, did go to the doctor because of the depression and stuff like that, and I got meds for it. <laughs> they knocked me out, <laughs> so I did take a nap, but um, I feel a lot better, and I cleaned up a little bit, and that's really good. But that's something really important to discuss about medication, like um, sometimes meds make you sleepier, and sometimes, and not sometimes, meds don't, aren't just like, oh, you take them and you're cool, like that, that's it, you're done, you, the, <laughs> you know, it's not like you've got a cold and then you take some pills and then you don't have the cold anymore, that's not how that works. So, in case you're ever in a situation where you have to take medication for mental health, just know that it takes a while to work, you still need to work, like, that's the worst part, like, I'm like, why can't I just take meds and just, like, feel better? No, I still have to do the work, so I'm gonna do the work. I'm gonna finish cleaning up my side of the room. I think I have an exciting package waiting for me at the post office, so I might go to the post office. Um, yeah, and, uh, oh, I got a book, which I didn't buy. Somebody bought it for me, but there was no note, so I'm kind of sad about that. But I'm really excited because it's one of these tiny little books. And it's called um, Africa's Tarnished Name by Chinua uh, Chebe. That's how I'm going to say it. I'm sorry if that's not it. Um, but I didn't look it up before I filmed because I was just so excited that I got this book. And yeah, I'm super happy. And I think that book is a book I won in a giveaway. Well, I don't know if that's a book. But I know that it's not me that ordered anything because I haven't ordered anything because I've been really good with my no buy um, I'm actually really proud about that because I've tried no buys before and they haven't worked out. But I think this year, uh, because I'm not, um, because I'm feeling down, um, I don't feel like buying things. Who knew? <laughs> um, so yeah. It, well, anyway, I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna get to read some more because I feel revitalized after my nap. See you later. I like this because it's like my my clack, you know, like clack next. See you in a bit, guys. Update time. So I've been reading, and I'm actually really enjoying this. I love the characters. I think that they're so realistic, and it's so funny. I really like how funny this book is. This is exactly what I needed. I needed, like, a fun, nonsensical read where I just didn't have to think a lot, and it's just fun. So I really want it. I'm, like, a, a fourth of the way through. I'm really having fun filming, by the way. I'm sorry that this this is gonna be a long vlog. I don't really care, but yeah. Reading horror stories still. Loving it. Loving every second of it. It's so much fun. I 100% recommend. After this, I really wanted to read an author of color because I, um, I don't think I'm gonna finish um, Obelisk Gate. I think I, I should wait until I feel better before I finish that one. So I'm gonna look. And see, I might actually read this little one. Sounds like fun. Doesn't sound like fun. It just sounds like something that I could get through and that will be educational to me. And, you know, I won't be just reading white people all the time. <laughs> That's something that is actually really important to me. Um, you always get some diversity in there. And, yeah. I'm having so much fun with this. Like, I haven't had so much fun with a book in, like... A month <laughs> because even though I've read books that I've really liked um, um I, I I kind of have found that I'm reading and I'm enjoying but I'm not having fun 
with my books because I've been reading a lot of like really intense books. Also, I did clean, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah. No, oh. mommy. My mom is saying bye bye. <laughs> yeah, mom's going out, so. Peace. Woo! So, I managed to read 100 pages of this book. Grand, you know. I was gonna say granted, like the pages don't have a lot of writing in them and whatever, but you know what? I'm giving it to myself. I'm giving it to myself. I read 100 pages. I'm trying to read 150 before I go to bed, but here's the thing. I've been sleeping like, I don't know the expression in English, but in Spanish we say like a lemur. I don't know, sleepy lemur or something. But um, yeah, I've been sleeping so much lately. Maybe it's the meds like I spoke about before, or maybe I just, you know, want to sleep. So, um, I've got 50 pages of this to go to like make it for my goal for the day. And I'm like just super happy. I haven't read in so long and I managed to read a hundred pages. Like, oh, I'm so happy. And the book just keeps getting good. There's one character in there that is kind of a douchebag, but we don't care about him. We care about the rest of the characters. <laughs> it's a fun book. It's a fun book. I, I recommend that. Like now, I'm I'm kind of sad that I didn't pick up his new, like southern vampire thing book, um, because it does. He seems like a fun writer. Or she. I'm sorry if it's. Oh gosh, I've been. Have I been assuming Grady Hendrix is a he and it's a she, or they? I don't know. Um, but yeah, the author fun writer so I'm gonna watch some YouTube now and then I'm gonna try to read 25 pages and then 25 pages and I'll update you and see if I read okay I'm gonna go because Rodrigo is actually role-playing right now and I am taking up his time so I'll be back good morning guys it is currently let me check 10 in the morning uh, I got up like at 9, but I've just been laying in bed, and yeah, it's Saturday, I'll tell you the date, but I'll put it on the screen anyway, the 15th of August, and I did it, I read 150 pages of Horror Store last night, it's getting a little bit intense, it's still not scary, but it, it's like, it's still kind of like that fun horror movie you want to watch with your friends. At least the fun horror movie I want to watch with my friends. Also, we're not going to talk about my hair because growing out pixie cuts sucks major monkey balls. Like if you want to get a pixie cut, I say 100% get it. But just know that the growing out process is like the worst thing ever. But anyway, um, since I read 150 pages last night, I only have 100 pages to go with this book. So I might actually finish a book this month that's wrap up it's gonna be great so i read horror store and my facebook messages or something <laughs> i don't know anyway um i'm gonna make not breakfast i'm gonna make dog garden coffee and then my husband's bringing like bread for toast and stuff so i'll see you when i see you and i'll update you on this Oh, look at her. She got ready. You know why? Because I just filmed the video. Yeah, I, I kind of do look cute. Not gonna lie. My hair is growing out. <laughs> I know I've said this before, but the pixie growing out process, it's a process. Um, I'm feeling much better today than I have been. Um, I don't know why. Do I have to have a reason why? I don't. I don't think so. I think some days you just feel better than other days and that's okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get to reading Horror Store. I really want to finish it. Um, it's getting uh, actually a little bit spooky. Then my husband's gonna help me film the bookshelf tour because I had filmed it, but things were a mess when I filmed that video. So I want to get him to help me film it because not only am I gonna show you my bookshelves, um, but also my TBR shelf, which is up there. And I need somebody to make sure that the books are in focus and like I'm not like creeping under like this it was, it was like I I rarely refilm videos because I'm the kind of first thought best thought kind of girl you know but um this one needed to be refilmed like I as as somebody who worked as a video editor I if, if some like if somebody gave me this to edit I would have like been like no I'm not doing it <laughs> so yeah um what else what else 
what else can I say to you? Nothing, that I'm actually feeling cute. I think, I think sometimes we forget the impact that our physical um, appearance has on our emotional state. So I think putting on makeup, um, doing something with my hair so it's not just like crazy as it grows out, that has really helped me today. Like I feel really good and that's cool. Oh, I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. Hang on. I haven't done that in a while. I'm not wearing anything interesting, I promise you. I never wear interesting clothes actually. I like to keep my clothes very nondescript. But anyway. I'm wearing this XXXXXXL, like it's so, and it's got cat hair all over it, uh, black shirt. I think I thrifted this, I don't know, but it's like huge on me. And then I'm wearing linen pants, and then I'm wearing these cute little shoes. There we go. I got these cute little shoes that I got at a store here, they're like handmade. Um, so, and then, you know, you saw the makeup. Let's take a look. That makeup, girl. I think I'm gonna call my new look stylish space bum. Yeah. Also, I was thinking of a video idea. Let me know if you guys uh, would like this, but I have a bunch of tattoos and most of them are like literary based. Let me know if you wanna see that down in the comments. So yeah, I'm gonna get to reading Horror Store. Be right back. Hi, oh my God, I actually look cute with like my hair pulled back like this and no makeup. What's going on, girl? I see you. Anyway, um, I'm I'm a hundred pages from the end of this, and it actually did get scary. Like I'm legit scared now, <laughs> but in a good way. Like I can see this as a movie. Like why hasn't anybody turned this into a movie? It's so good, and I like like they're kind of creepy with the descriptions, but not overly creepy. But I'm gonna finish this tonight. I am gonna finish this tonight. I might not update you tonight, but I am definitely finishing it tonight. Um, in other news, okay, 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 hair, I see you. Thank you, thank you for cooperating because we weren't feeling it. Um, what am I going to show you? I'm going to show you a bunch of sleepy cuteness. Look at this. Here we have the sleepy sushis. Sushi! She's gone. Like, she's a goner. Then we have the adorableness that is Penny, Pennywise the clown. Like, literally, like, this cat is so Pennywise the Clown. And here we have Rodrigo, who was watching a movie, and I was like, turn that shit off, I'm gonna record. So, by the way, this vlog is gonna be, like, an hour long. Like, I can just see it. It's gonna be an hour long, and you know what? <laughs> I'm not even gonna. I don't care, sir, ma'am, and others. <laughs> All right? I'm actually feeling pretty good right now. Um, I don't know. I've, ha I've had a good day. I've had a really good day. I had fun. Rodrigo and I played. We always play this stupid game where we put a movie, like, random movie, like, generator. And we have to play, uh, what is that called in English? Mime? Like, when you mime things. And we have to guess the name of the movies. And Rodrigo is very creative. <laughs> and he, and then I just... And then I just scream the first thing that comes out of my mouth. Like, I just don't think about it. And I just start screaming names of movies. So it's actually a lot of fun. We did a lot of that. Then I took like a three-hour nap. Because naps are my thing. Yeah. Clack, clack. See you later, alligator. I embarrassed myself. I'm sorry. It's me. I'm back. Sorry if you can hear Rodrigo in the background. I didn't tell him to stop his movie. But I just think they killed my favorite character. I'm so pissed. Like, this better be one of those, like, it was all an illusion thing. Because how dare you? How dare you kill this character? Like, there, this is nothing nefarious. It's just my water bottle. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm pissed off at that. I'm like, I'm so angry. Like, the only good character, not not like good, the other characters are like developed and good. Well, except one of them that's a creep. But man, really? You go after this person? Damn it. Okay, that's it. I promise that's the last clip. Bye. I have to keep it here because Rodrigo's in bed. I finished it. I finished Tar Store by um, Grady Hendrix. And I really enjoyed it. It's not my new favorite book, but... 
just the feeling of finishing a book. He, see, here's the thing about um, being depressed, about being sad, about not, you know, feeling your best. It's not always like that. I feel like we have this idea that if you are going through depression or if you're going through something, I think my camera is not focusing on me, but you're always gonna be sad, but that's not true. Like today I had a really good day, so yeah. And I finished a book, I'm so happy. I can't believe I finished a book. Like, you know, you know when you set yourself a goal and you're like, I'm never gonna reach it, I'm never gonna reach it. And this was like a 250 page book. It wasn't even that long, but I felt like I was never gonna reach it. And I almost got the last 50 pages on the audiobook, which was like ridiculous, but um, yeah. I'm so happy I finished it and I gave I give this like a 3.5 stars um, But in my heart, it's a five star because I read it Yay, so anyway, we still have Sunday. Let's see what I can get read on Sunday But for now, I'm going to bed and I will see you tomorrow. Oh Look at her looking fancy <laughs> Hi guys, it's Sunday and I have to say I started two books yesterday I'm not even, I don't know who I am. But anyway, oh, I left them in the bedroom. But I started reading the last book in the Lady Trent uh, memoir series, which is uh, Sanctuary of Wings. Uh, I'm reading all of those in audio. So I was like, I'm going to like just read this audio before bed. And I actually read 20% of it. Mm, I really love that series. I really recommend it. And the other one I started reading was The Weight of Our Stars by Kay Ingram. Um, so far, thoughts so far on that one. Sorry, I was standing up, I'm just sitting down now. Also, yes, my hair and makeup kind of look bomb today. Um, but yeah, I'm meeting a friend. And that's something about like being sad and um, being, like in my case, I'm a, I'm um immigrant and I, it's, it's really difficult for me to make friends and this is a new culture and stuff. So I'm actually seeing an old friend from Venezuela, which I'm really excited about. I might change this shirt now that I'm out here. It's really hot. So, but anyway, um, going back to the book. So far, it's okay. I mean, I'm only 25 pages in, but the only thing I mm, have an issue with, it reads so YA. Like, I, I'm not a big fan of YA books. It, I, I don't think they're bad. I have a whole talk about that linked up here. But it reads really, really, really YA. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if I continue it. I might DNF it. I don't know. Um, I would. I want to continue it because it seems like a like a, like a like a nice book to read, you know. Um, and yeah, but so far I'm really like it's not. I'm not enjoying it. Like it's. I'm just reading it to read it. So. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that one. Um, but yeah, that's my update. I'm not going to take my camera. First of all, I don't feel like taking my camera. Second of all, I don't know how my friend feels about being in the vlog. And third of all, um, I feel we're going to just... She's going through some stuff. I'm going through some stuff. I want to be like there in the moment with her. And yeah, so I'm not bringing my camera. But I'll update you about reading when I get back. Bye. Good morning, guys. Um, well, yesterday after <laughs> I went, if you remember, last we spoke, I was gonna go eat out with my friend, and then I came back, and it was like 6 p.m., and I had a horrible migraine, so I ended up going to bed at like 6:30 p.m., and I woke up at 12 p.m. Not p.m. a.m. And then I went back to sleep at 3 p.m. Not p.m. a.m. And I woke up this morning at 8. So it's like currently 8.30. I'm going to have some breakfast. And I thought I'd end the vlog. So uh, what did we accomplish during this beautiful, wonderful vlog? I read uh, one entire book. So I read 240 pages. I read 20% of... Oh, what's that book called? The Sanctuary of Wings by Marie Brennan, which is the last book in the series. And I'm just going to try to read it throughout this week. And I also read something else. Oh yes, I began uh, The Weight of the Stars, which I'm 
not enjoying that much but still overall i actually read this weekend so i'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for that and well um yeah i'm gonna conclude this vlog by saying that um you don't have to read 50 books every weekend <laughs> i think you guys know that but i think like i say um booktube kind of skews like your reading habits like are you even reading if you're not finishing 1000 pages per weekend are you yeah you are as long as you're reading anyway uh thank you guys so much for watching just a friendly reminder i post every monday Wednesdays, and fridays and without further ado i bid you adieu and i will see you in another galaxy far far away oh by the way i have to go pick up something in the mail that arrived like a surprise thing so i'm so excited i'll show you that later bye guys